I'm Richard Stevens, chairman of the Stone Food and Drink Festival and responsible for a great committee of volunteers who've put on this wonderful show today. This is the eighth one every year now for the last seven years. It's got more and more popular every year, but I think this year we've excelled all our expectations. We had an enormous uh, attendance yesterday and it looks from the crowd today as if we're going to better last year's Sunday figure as well. So my guess is that over the weekend we will probably have had well in excess of 12,000 people through. Originally it was an idea, as all these good ideas are, originated sitting around a pint of beer in a pub. Credit has to go to uh, Brian Blundell, who sadly passed away three years ago, and John Moss, who passed away earlier this year. Both very committed to this town and concerned about the general downturn in business in the town. They came up with an idea of accentuating the positives of Stone, and we've got some fantastic restaurants, some wonderful pubs, and came up with the idea of food and drink. And uh, we started it eight years ago, and we've built on the, their principles ever since, so it's credit to Brian and to John that we are here today. Permanent fixture in the calendar, and I'm not hiding my views on this, subject to this park here at Westbridge Park being available. I'm sure everybody knows that the Borough Council are proposing a development plan which includes this park as suitable for mixed development. And it's just the craziest idea I've ever heard. Any Borough Councillor who wants to vote in favour of that ought to come here today to see what this park is doing for the town. And uh, if this festival can't take place here, it simply can't take place anywhere else and it will be the end of this food and drink festival. It's the heart of stone because it is so convenient to the town and to the residents of the town. This is regarded by the residents as their park and the thought of this being developed is absolutely outrageous. The feedback we've had from residents here over the weekend is amazing and I strongly suspect that we haven't seen the beginnings of the protest against this proposal. The more people find out and still people don't understand what the proposal is, uh, the more protest there is. I think over the next few months Stone is going to rise up against this proposal and the Borough Council will have to take notice of what the people of Stone are saying. We've got a, a good proportion of Staffordshire producers here but in addition to that we've got Spicy Stall, Mr Vicky's over there from Cumbria, uh, we've got stall holders who've come up from Devon, from Dorset, from Poole and going east, let me think, we've got somebody in from York. So this food and drink festival has acquired a reputation amongst the trade and we are getting inquiries from people all over the country to come. We are being selective in who we invite. Uh, if we open the floodgates, we could have filled this park ten times over. But no, I, I have adopted a policy that uh, everything here is quality product and uh, I hope that everybody who comes here today will be impressed by the quality of the uh, stalls that we've got.